Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to the Summer Fades into Fall Scrappy Inspiration Hop. And today on my channel, I am working on this fall layout that you probably wouldn't even know it was fall, except for the papers that I'm using. Um, I'm in California. We don't get fall like some other parts of the country gets. Um, we have summer, and then we have fire season, and then we have winter. Um, it, we do have some cooler nights, but even in the summertime where I live, the nights are almost always cooler than the day. Uh, and so it's really hard to differentiate fall from summer, except for that the leaves do fall to the ground. Um, but we don't have like that explosion of fall color that you would think of in other areas. So these photos are photos taken last October after my husband and I came back from our trip to Hawaii. Uh, we hadn't seen my daughter or my grandson uh, for over a week, so we wanted to make sure we saw them, and it's just that, that first day back, or the first full day back. And so um, I wanted to make sure I got that documented. So I've pulled out that acetate piece at the top that has the leaves on it, or actually it's not really even acetate, it's tra like transparency. Um, I don't think that's actually considered acetate, but maybe it is. Um, it's thinner than acetate as far as I can tell. But anyway, I am going to fussy cut those leaves out, so those are going to get used. I am going through my ephemera trying to find some things that I think would work, and I am also working off of a this or that challenge over at Paper Issues. It's on their Paper Issues uh, fans and friends or friends and fans um, Facebook group and uh, the way that challenge works is you they have like use three squares or use three circles and you can see here I opted to use three squares uh, another one was use clouds or use rainbows I ended up choosing to use um, the clouds use the word family or use the word love I will in the end use the word love so basically um, there was a list of items that I was working off of and I wanted to make sure I got those on this layout. I am auditioning several different squares for this center one. What decides it for me is uh, this particular piece I have on there now. It doesn't bring in any additional colors that aren't in the other two squares. So it just has that kind of burgundy rust color. It's not really burgundy, it's not really rust, it's somewhere in between. Color um, apple and the other two pieces have the heart and the writing in the same color. So it is basically not going to make it any more difficult for me to add um, the colors, add a third color. So I need to bring some yellow and blue into that middle section because I have the yellow in the bottom corner and blue in the upper piece and then in that upper piece I want to add some yellow and green and in the yellow one I want to make sure I add some blue down in there so that each one of those little squares has the same colors in it. It doesn't have to be the same item but it needs to have the same colors represented to provide a little bit of balance and continuity and then the piece that's all the way on the left, it definitely has all of those colors, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, and I do like that my layout has everything, all of the photos are up in the upper right, and the journaling is going to be in the bottom left. Uh, this is something that I do every once in a while. I, I like to have my layout so they're kind of split and there's nothing in the middle. Well, in this case, there is something in the middle there with that, that third square. But um, I do like to have things where they're coming in from the side. And I just think when you're flipping through your albums, it's nice to have that change. It provides some additional interest in your album. Now that little word that says blessed, it's not going to make it on the layout. I really tried to get it on there for a little while, but um, it, it just didn't, it wasn't working out for me. And one of the other things in the list was to use a metal clip of some sort. And so I pulled out that cloud one thinking uh, I was going to probably use the cloud somewhere. Um, and I pulled out that green swirl. I end up using the green swirl. I don't end up using the cloud. Although I really like the cloud. Um, it matches the cloud 
square up at the top and the color is the perfect shade of blue but it just wasn't I couldn't get it to fit on the layout without covering up um, some of the things that I wanted to make sure were seen Now what I just did there was I cut off a quarter of an inch off of two sides so uh, that I can back the entire layout on white and I, I don't usually back things on white for whatever reason I usually if I have a white layout will put it as a different color behind it to kind of like frame it and bring everything together but in this case I wanted to go ahead and do that because all well all of my photos have a white border around them and that's pretty common for me that's not unusual but uh, I just thought the edge of this layout needed something special a special treatment because everything is all the way on the outer edges I do like the way it ends up looking I did throw an extra 4x6 square underneath that yellow piece and I wanted that blue edge kind of showing to bring in that lighter blue color because the leaves and the banner piece the blue is a little bit bolder and I wanted to have a good representation of that light blue that's in the square with the cloud on it. Originally that extra little cloud piece with the flat bottom edge I had originally thought I was going to put it right above where it says apple of my eye in that, that square, but then I decided to pop it up and layer it above the cloud that's already on that blue square. And I like how that looks a lot better. And the word together, I just popped that up onto some fun foam that is adhesive on one side. It's from Walmart. It's a really inexpensive way to get your foam. And then I typically use a liquid adhesive to adhere the non-adhesive side to my paper and the reason I do that is because I have found that even using the tape runner that sometimes the tape runner peels off of the foam awfully easy is what it comes down to. Liquid adhesive is really what I have found works best and I love this Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive. It dries rather quickly. It has a very fine tip on it. It comes out really smooth and you can leave it open on your desk on its side while you're working and it doesn't clog. Now if you left it you know overnight or for a very long period of time yeah it's gonna clog but um, for the most part it it stays pretty pretty nice if you just leave it on its side. Now I've got some brads from this collection and I'm gonna go ahead and stick those on there they were not any part of the um, challenge or anything like that but I wanted to get them used up and one of them says love and one of the parts of the challenge is to get the word love on there although I do already have that on a tab on the top of the uh, stack of the journaling in the journaling area there so I didn't really have to add it but um, I didn't have to add that Brad but I decided I wanted it uh, I'm just trying to get these things used up basically is what it comes down to and I don't use brads super often so I want to kind of get them used and out of my stash because they are taking up space and I don't know these ones were pretty cute so one just says love one is kind of like an orangey color and the other one has diagonal stripes on it and they are going to frame around the journaling area now this little area that I'm working on right now with these flowers gave me all kinds of trouble I wasn't liking it. it. I felt like it was bringing the right hand side too far left because um, the flower is kind of hanging off towards the left hand side and I just struggled with it for quite a while. I, I ended up taking that thankful sticker off and I tried something else in that area but then I went and added the thankful back and you, you can see me doing other things in between while I'm thinking about it. I kind of just left the yellow flower there to see how it looked um, while I do some other things and then I move things around and try different flowers it's it was just I don't know I don't know why I struggled so much with it in the end I like how it looks but um, while I'm thinking about it and mulling it over I'm working on other things so on top of this little house I'm adding the blue flower and that's how I'm getting that blue down into that bottom right hand side and I did pop that up onto foam tape as well. I pulled out a leaf and thought maybe if I added a green leaf there because I know I want some green in that area as well. 
uh, above the apple of my eye section and I just I don't know I struggled so I will get it resolved eventually uh, those two little pieces up near the blue cloud or the blue card with the cloud on it say blessed and gather together and that's exactly how I feel I feel very blessed to have um, to be able to see my daughter and my my grandson as often as I do my husband and I really enjoy them um, and it was just nice to be able to meet up at the park and spend a couple hours hanging out with them and enjoying our time together and you know he's he was still a little guy he hadn't even he had his um, first birth first birthday by then so um, and that is absolutely one of my favorite things with little kids is to see all of the things that they learn and change um, all the little changes not necessarily the physical changes but as they're picking up new things like I don't know the you know you get all of the basics the first time they crawl the first time they walk the first time they roll over and all of that but even just the little simple things like the first time they like kiss the baby in the mirror that kind of stuff I just love it I just think it's the the neatest thing um, they are just little sponges and they take in so much you know I often think about like how much a baby learns in that first couple years and if we if I had to learn all of that in two years I don't know that I could do it at my age but I guess that's why babies are sponges so anyway I just think it's really cute so basically I went ahead and added some gold Heidi Swap color shine and now I'm adding some white acrylic paint that's been watered down I'm gonna splatter a little bit of that around and that is pretty much going to end um, or complete the layout I am going to add a little bit of fiber underneath that tab or that um, little piece that says together at the bottom of the journaling area and it's basically actually I don't know what it is maybe it's jute um, but it's like flat oh it's burlap ribbon it says it right there on the on the roll so I'm, I'm adding some burlap ribbon there and then I'm going to take a piece of that burlap ribbon I'm going to fold it in half and I don't know if you can actually see it on screen what I'm doing but I fold it in half and I take a piece of thread and I tie it and um, creating a little opening at the bottom so that I can slip it onto that green swirly metal um, clip so it's I'm, I know I'm slightly off screen or at the bottom part of the screen there but that's what I'm doing I'm just tying a little bit of that um, white thread and the reason I did that because the burlap the burlap ribbon is so thick that if I tie it it's gonna be really chunky and it's gonna kinda stick out funny so by using the thread it just keeps the little um, flags of the of the ribbon sticking up instead of like out towards the sides and I don't have to deal with the knot in it so hopefully that's a good little tip for you while I go ahead and finish that up I want to remind you to check out the other ladies that are participating in this fall scrappy hop their links are down below in my description box so you can easily get to their channels give them a little bit of love and if you've enjoyed this video I really hope that you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed if you are subscribed thanks so much for subscribing I really do appreciate it if you have questions or comments you can leave those down below I do get back to you sometimes it takes me a, a few days but I do read all of my comments and I do respond I am going to go ahead and finish up my layout by adding that white background paper. I think that just brings everything together. Um, I switched whites there because one had a little bit more of a blue tinge um, to it and I didn't want to bring in that cooler white. I wanted a little bit of a warmer white so uh, that is why you saw me switch papers there. And I think that just brings everything together, it frames it and um, completes the layout. I hope you have enjoyed watching today. I will see you next time. Bye bye.